Hello, Porn with Heart family. We are here with the one and only Winter Parker. Hi. Newly promoted to the role of lead bartender at Tony's Saloon. Yay. Winter, remind us about your career journey. Like, what bar did you start off in and what position were you doing? I started off at Tony's Saloon as a bartender. Um, and I've been there almost five years now, I believe. Um, yeah, and then I just made my way, weaseled my way right up. Can you recommend a favorite song for us today? Okay, Claire de Lune. Uh, honestly, it's a classical. Mm -hmm. That's always a staple for me. I love classical music. So also keeps me cool enough to, to work at Tony's. What do you think it is about your personal character that made you a great pick for this promotion? I think it's, well, I'm a hard worker. I, I'm very easy to, to talk to for employees or, and co co-workers and, um, and regulars or anybody that comes to the bar. I'm super organized. I don't like there to be gray area. I like to be pretty direct and uh, I want everybody to be comfortable and happy. And I think that that was a big, um, a big factor in it. Thanks, John Fisconte. In your experience with Porn With Heart, do you have a story in which someone really went out of their way to show you that they had your back? Or do you have a story in which you went out of your way to show someone else that you had their back? As far as me having other people's backs, uh, I, I seem to be the one everybody likes to come talk to when they have uh, any kind of personal things. I'm, I'm a pretty good listener, so there's that. Uh, but And I just want, you know, if anybody needs coverage, I've got them there. I feel like that's normal stuff. But for me, somebody doing something for me would be Jessica. She's one of our fellow bartenders there. She is the only person that has a key to my house. And she watches my, my dog and my birds when I'm not home, no matter how short notice, no matter whatever. She's, just, she's, she's dope. So that's... She has my back with whatever. And also there was one time that I might have got the Rona again. I don't know what happened, but I had like the worst headache of my life. And she came in on extremely short notice to cover a, sh a shift for me. So she's also like one of those. She's just like a warrior, that yeah. one. We should promote her. Of the Poor Without Shared Values, is there one that you're kind of using as a mantra as you transition into your new role as lead bartender? I think at this particular juncture, it would be um, taking the high road. I feel like going in, going from a non-leadership role to a leadership position, there's kind of like, it, it does change your dynamics uh, with, with everything bar related. Um, so there's a lot of times where that does have to happen, I, I, I suppose. I take the high road. A lot of times when I go hiking, literally. <laughs> so, yeah. You're welcome. <laughs> well, you chose a little something for us to be able to do a cheers for each other and a little congratulations for you. Yay. What did you choose and why did you pick it? Tequila, because I love tequila. <laughs> well, cheers. Congratulations. Cheers. <laughs> for each other. <laughs>